Funny is the true steward of fun. The fun droid is our, uh, our robot that we are building for an event called Software for Artist Day here at Pioneerworks. Its intention is to help artists imagine themselves as technologists and help technologists imagine themselves as artists. There's a big divide between the way people identify and this conference S4AD is intending to help bridge that gap a little bit and make people sort of be more willing to experiment and be more willing to cross over that boundary. When we all gather in the morning, we'll launch Funny out the garage door. Funny will go out most likely uh, pick its right path along the, along the sidewalk, make it down to Mark's Pizza around the corner, and then it's gonna drop down some money, order a pizza for its hungry friends, grab that pizza, turn around and bring it back to us. And then when uh, Funny is successful, we're gonna send them back out to get us beer. And so Funny's gonna go to the bodega, put down some money, grab some beer or possibly ask for someone to put beer in its basket and then show its ID, which is Windows 95 running on a like 1995 Toshiba. So it uses a combination of a few different systems. One is a LiDAR system where it's a essentially like radar using, using a laser rangefinder that can look around and identify walls. So the tech came up with an algorithm that can see when something looks like a flat plane and it assumes it's a wall. And so if it can see the wall, it can kind of stay the right distance from that wall as it goes to the pizza shop. And it can see when that wall ends and that's when it gets to the corner and it can turn it and go to the pizza shop. It's a combination of that and something called odometry, which is where it's tracking its, the turns and uh, small fractions of turns of its wheels. And so it can know its rotation and its position based on the geometry of, of that. Uh, it's also using an accelerometer and magnetometer, two things that your phone uses when it's doing your location uh, for Google Maps or any other thing that uses location. In order to position itself in the right direction for the door, uh, we're using a, uh, a QR code. And the QR code, when you look at it straight on, is a rectangle. But when you look at it from not straight on, it becomes this sort of uh, keystone shape. So that keystoning tells it what its relationship to the door is, whether it's looking at it straight on or whether it's looking at it from an angle. And so what angle? Uh, so that was our solution for dealing with the glass door. The claws are his pizza retention system. And that's when he grabs uh, the pizza into his, his hands that are like a pizza rack. Uh, just so on the way back, if he goes over bumps, it doesn't bounce out of his hand. He does what we do with our thumbs, but robots do it way better because they can pierce the pizza box and actually grab it. I think funny, even in his name, is like bringing the fun part about robotics and technology and all that that everyone kind of loves. I mean, there's been, even since the 80s, there have been movies about lovable robots who are programmed to be military robots, but then have a conscience and become, you know, be beloved by the characters of the movie. My impact. And they can seem quite lifelike, but they are still machines. Oh. Number five is alive. Nice software. And I think people just have an association with that and they want to see that. One of the roles that artists need to play in technology is that if artists don't get their hands on technology and start defining the rules for things like this, then it will only be defined by the military. And so that's an important part of the ethics of it, and it's important a part of the, the art of it and, and the use of it. The earlier that artists adopt things and, and start driving forward the purpose behind them, um, the better we'll all be in our relationship to them. Okay, 